Hey, what is going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here and today we're going to be talking about auto bed leveling for your 3D printer and my experience with it so far. It's still a relatively new thing to me since my NA8 is really my first experience with it and I just built my NA8 actually just a little over a month ago now. I made a video over a year ago called the things I hate about 3D printing and bed leveling was the main thing I talked about in that video. Uh, at the time I found it extremely annoying having to constantly level my bed and I lost many prints from the bed either being too close, too far, or lopsided altogether when trying to print. You would think that auto bed leveling would be a dream come true after seeing that video I made, but since then my knowledge and experience with 3D printers has come a long way and I have not had nearly as many issues with leveling and keeping the bed straight. One upgrade I started doing to nearly all my printers is to add a nylon lock nut to all the bed leveling screws. That way once I'd gotten the bed leveled, I almost never had to adjust them again. It is a bit of a pain to install and level the lock nuts, but once you've got it set up after the first time, I gotta say that it saves you a lot of time. There's no more shifting or uh, the bed coming unleveled when you pull prints off or anything like that over time. There's many different types of bed leveling devices, but for my setup, I've only used the more generic kind of no-name proximity sensor, which is really common. It has worked pretty well uh, with on a rare occasion the sensor not reading on a point, but nine out of 10 times, it really does do the job. After using it the past month, I really don't think that auto bed leveling sensors are a game changer, at least for my printers. The biggest build area I have is roughly 220 millimeters uh, dimension, which is really not that large. For smaller printers like the Monoprice Mini, it's almost silly to even consider putting a bed leveling device due to really how simple it is to level the bed. I can see them being more practical on larger printers, maybe something like the CR10 or the FT5 where the bed is large, and it might not be as easy to get completely level every single time. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure I will still use my auto bed level on some future builds. I just no longer feel that it should be a make or break for a 3D printer purchase. Or if I have a 3D printer that is already set up and working, I really don't think that it's necessary to upgrade it to an auto bed leveling once you have the machine running. What has your guys' experience been with auto bed leveling? Do you love them? Could you care less? To me, it is more like a leisure, uh, like heated seats in a car. Sure, it's nice, but you could just put on extra layers. Maybe it's a silly example, but hopefully it gets my point across. Uh, my Fulgur Tech 2020 has been running over a year now, with easily over a thousand hours and hundreds of prints on it, and I maybe have to adjust something every 50 prints or so, and that's usually due to me moving something, causing the Z-stop to shift ever so slightly. Anyways, please let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe for more 3D printing videos. As always, guys, thank you for watching, and I am out. Peace, guys.